Welcome back to this day. Joining me now is the hilarious Doug Starks with the Coach House. Hi. So good to see you again. I don't know how to sit. Should I lean up and look casual or sit back and like, hello. I don't know. <laughs> Hi. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Okay. That's right. that's what I recommend. Okay. Right on. <laughs> well, I love this. This is great. <clears throat> Starting off the day right. So tell me, you have your you have a show coming up at the Coach House. I have a show this coming so up. so exciting. Yeah, Sunday evening, and I'll be doing stand up and music, which both of them I love to do. And uh, yeah, I want to say it's family friendly. Okay. It's, so it's not know, too inappropriate? No, it's not too inappropriate. It's not like family friendly, like this type of comedy you want to listen to if you're trying to make a family. Not that, but it's if you have a family, you can bring them. But yeah, so uh, I, I, I grew up loving Sammy Davis because he was somebody who did it all. Yeah. And that's what I've modeled to do. And, and uh, so, yeah, it's going to be good. Now, is this the first time you've had your own show, or have this, you, or this show? Have you done this show this before? This is the first time I've done this show. Okay. Yeah, I've done one man shows before when I when I was in Las Vegas, but this show is kind of a, it's it's the balance of an evolutionary process for me, personally, and I'm excited. To, um, one of the things that's going to be included in this show is a song that was written by. Ron Miller, who wrote uh, Touch Me in the Morning for Diana Ross and for Once in My Life for Stevie Wonder. And he's written a song that he wanted me to do. And wow. And for the first time. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. And I hear you're going to be there. And that's always exciting. So Absolutely. <laughs> do my best for sure. That sound, yeah. Today's my birthday. So that sounds like a great birthday, birthday. Uh, night to nice. plan out. <laughs> Happy birthday. So, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So tickets are still available. Tickets are available. You can call the box office at the Coach House. I think it's 949-496-8930. I think, right? Okay. Yeah, I know it exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, or you can buy them online at the coachhouse.com. Okay, perfect. And so what is your favorite part about this show that you'll be doing for Sunday? The fa my favorite part is I love connecting with people and uh, I love doing humor about people stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't slam people and I don't criticize people, but I, there's so much humor in what we do. So my favorite part is seeing people uh, enjoy themselves and kind of momentarily step away from what their stresses and concerns would be. But I love doing impressions. Okay. I love it all. I love stand-up. I love impressions. I love music. So who's somebody you do impressions of? Oh, my God. Um, I do an impression of Smokey Robinson. Oh. Uh, I, do, I do Bob Dylan. Really? <laughs> I do Neil Diamond. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Christopher Walken. I do Christopher Walken. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then, so you'll also like get the audience into the show, oh, like yeah. just those things just pop yeah. up for you. Like I do, and I and I do audience participation. I mean, yeah, I, I, there's, yeah, yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. That is definitely a talent to to have those things come up so quickly and then be able to to play on it as yeah. well. Yeah, well, you know, I'm I'm medicated, so. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And then you're seeing in the show as well. Yeah. 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 Now, do you play instruments too? I or? do play. I play drums. I play keyboards. I play harmonica. Wow. And, uh, and I'm learning to play some other instruments like violin and guitar. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I love tasking myself with doing new stuff because I want shows to be entertaining for me as well. Right. You know? So, so none of us know what's going to come out then. <laughs> <laughs> now, will this show after playing at the Coach House on Sunday night, will it go other places and you perform it other places as yes. well? Yes, Really? Yeah. How awesome. Yeah. So you have like a little tour set up type thing? Um, I have. It's still in the works. Yes, it's still in the works. But yeah, I do uh, casinos in Nevada. Uh, I do up the central California. So yeah, I go wherever, wherever I can be of service. Yeah. You're a busy man. <laughs> I try to be. I try to be. It's either that or sit at home and play with my feet. And <laughs> Right, exactly. This is way much more entertaining. Much better, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, super exciting. That sounds like a, such a fabulous show. Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to fun. it. I'm looking forward to it. And, um, uh, yeah, and, and also at the end of the month, on the 30th of the month, we have Mr. Entertainment himself. Yes, Wayne another Newton. great show coming oh my up God. at the Coach House. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about this event. Wayne, Wayne Newton is one of the first entertainers that caught my eye when I was a kid because he did everything. Hmm. He did everything. And uh, he's coming to the Coach House March 30th. It's a Saturday night, and it's rare that Wayne does 
venues outside of the casinos. Okay. So this is really going to be a really special occasion. And well, and one of the nice things about the Coach House is it's such an intimate setting. It is, yeah. So, yeah. and yeah, you're going to see uh, such a powerhouse entertainer yeah. up close. Yeah. Like, no bad seat in the house. Yeah, and I'll be there just to hear him go, God bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite things he says, God bless your heart. Aww. Yeah. Is he from the South? That sounds like a Southern. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know where he's from, but I know he's lived in Vegas for years, and I used to see him all the time when I was in Las Vegas. And, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I understand he's going to be doing like a question, a Q and A with the yeah, audience as yeah. well. He's That's another person that like takes it another dimension. Instead of just being a performer, he loves connecting with people, and you can really see that and experience Wayne Newton. So. Yeah, that's awesome. And and it's it's amazing that he's playing at the Coach House because he's um, he's currently still headlining in Vegas yeah. at the where he's at the Flamingo, right? Yeah. 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 So how in the world did the Coach House get him? The Coach House is a very unique venue. In fact, it's the oldest concert venue in the country that's never changed hands. So it's a landmark venue. Yeah. And one of the reasons as you mentioned is that every seat's a good seat. You're never 40, more than 40 feet from the stage, so it's an intimate thing. You know, you're not watching people on the screen going, you know, we really could have done this at home. Yeah. So you get to see them and experience people, so. Yeah. yeah. And so you work with the Coach House as well? I do. Yeah. I so do. what's your position? What do you do with the Coach I House? I talk up the Coach House. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I'm involved in their promotions, and, uh, and I also help book some of the acts there at the Coach House. And, okay. Uh, and I do whatever, they, whatever I can do. Yeah. Yeah. And they've had, I mean, throughout the years, they've had some really big performers. Oh, my God. B.B. King, Ray Charles, Natalie Cole, uh, uh, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash. Johnny Depp has actually been on our oh, stage. Really? Yeah, Phoebe Snow, Jose Feliciano. Wow. Yeah, it's endless. There's All over different types. When you go into the coach house, it's amazing because there's pictures on the walls, and there's over like 2,500 pictures of people of national headliners who have been through the coach house over the past 46 years. So, wow. Yeah. What about this past year? Anyone big in this past year that oh. you can remember? Um, more recently. Well, you know what? I, uh, Oingo Boingo former members were there. That's uh, right. We have That's Judy right. Collins coming up. Okay. That's this year. But uh, yeah, there's. it's almost hard for me, for me to remember all of the names because there's so many that happen. And, yeah. But um, there's always good shows there. Yeah. I yeah. mean, and no matter, even if it is like a tribute band, it's always like the best of the tribute yes. bands. Yeah. 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 There are no bums right. at the Coach House. <laughs> and then even comedy. is. How often is like comedy acts come through? Um, not as often as they used to, but we do have comics there. Um, okay. There'll be one there this Sunday. It's called Duck Stars. It's <laughs> Sunday, 7 p.m. at the Coach House. <laughs> 7 p.m. Yeah. And the great thing is you can get dinner there, too. Yeah, beforehand. and it's good food. Yeah. It's good food, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So I hope I see you there. I hope I see, which camera? Is it this camera? I hope I see you there. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being here today and telling us about these events. I wish you the best of luck with thank the show. You. Thank you so much. Good yeah, to be here. Absolutely. Well, for this event or any others at the Coach House, you can contact them for tickets and dinner reservations at 949-496-8930. They're just a hop, skip it away right in San Juan Capistrano. So stay with us. We have the Theater Guild coming up right after this.